Baby, you don't know what you do to me Between me and you, I feel a chemistry I won't let no one come and take your place Cause the love you give, you can't be replaced So go now, and what you do That's why I promise to my love with you Hey guys, welcome back to the channel If you haven't subscribed, what are you doing? click the subscribe button and make sure you click the notification bell to make sure you get notified every time I post a new video so today I am bringing you a get ready with me featuring one of my wigs from my spring collection berry okay because it's giving berry vibes okay and this is like a plum burgundy shade 24 inches 5 by 5 closure you get the just link will be down below to purchase and to check out all the other wigs that I have available for purchase. So we're gonna get into this look, how I install this wig, and just all of that tea. So keep on watching just to see how we come to this finish. Yeah guys, so today we're going to do a get ready with me video. I haven't done these in a very long time. And watching other influencers or other beauty youtubers do the get ready with me I remember that when I started my channel a few years ago I was just like oh my god that's what I want to do but <clears throat> I've been very inconsistent <laughs> and they just didn't look the way I want them to look so today we're gonna get glammed I'm really excited about this video because these are my jam these are my favorite videos. I love watching them. I love making them. I love editing them. Bringing a look together. I don't think the, that will ever get old on YouTube. For people who love beauty and hair and makeup and just everything in that nature. So today in this Get Ready With Me is one of the first videos that I will be dropping on this channel. I will be introducing my spring collection under my business black envy wigs if you are not subscribed to my website go ahead and check it out get your first discount code to shop your favorite wigs i do have my last collection discounted so go ahead shop around link will be down below check it out purchase it so today we're gonna do a fun color and i'm really excited about this wig because i got the whole outfit planned which you guys will be seeing and yeah let's just get into it as you guys can tell i already combed my hair back and my little edges on the side because i'm wearing a five by five wig and sometimes when i put my hair i i just don't want it looking all crusty right here okay and you know what i'm talking about the girls who know know and the girls who don't so this is not a frontal season my spring collection is solely closures because this is not a frontal season i wore a frontal yesterday girl i went out and usually during these seasons especially in atlanta you know in the outskirts and suburbs they be having like little shops outside where you know if you're a small business owner you can like sell your products there and i went to look at a few yesterday and when i tell you <laughs> baby girl did that last and i had it for like three days i said oh no and i personally don't wear wigs because i <laughs> it's just not gonna last it's not gonna i personally don't wear glue i don't glue my wigs because it's not gonna last it's just not and so i just was like it's not frontal season anymore <laughs> temperature has gone up okay it was 84 degrees i was stupid i was cute at the beginning did not finish strong so i'm not making that mistake again today so let's get a zhush zhushin so guys put my phone up there's this look i'm slowly getting back into makeup and i don't know i'm been so excited i feel like i've lost my connection with makeup but i've lately been craving for makeup again i did a little makeup shopping and i'm gonna share some of the stuff listen why nobody tell me tj maxx got all the tea y'all trifling because y'all ain't tell me all it is so i've picked up the laura mercier tinted moisturizer on foundation it has like spf uh, 20 i love this stuff okay in 84 degree weather my face did not melt whatsoever whatsoever 
And technically speaking, I already wear sunscreen in my skincare routine and I will be doing an update on it because so much has changed since the last time I posted my skincare routine. But yeah, this right here is gold. It's a gem. I got it in the color Mocha. Oh God, it's delicious. Um, The next foundation I got was the Morphe uh, Full Coverage Foundation in the color, uh, does it say the color? F530 matte. That's all I see. So this is what I got. Still in the packaging, okay? Love it. Love it. And I got me a Morphe Red Matte Lipstick. I love me a good dark red lipstick. It's in the color Dominate. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. I will show a clip when it was brand new before I wore it because, girl, I don't look the same no more. And I finally bought eyeshadow palettes for the first time in a very, very long time. Um, the first one is a palette I always wanted for the longest, but it always sells out because it's so popular even now, and I understand why. <laughs> it's the Morphe, hold on, let me look at the box, y'all, let me look at the box. It's the Morphe 35R. So let's get into the shades, girls. Let's, y'all see, do y'all see this? This is beautiful what all these combinations is so me in this season of my life it was like i need it now i need it now and the last thing i did get was a really colorful palette i haven't gotten a colorful palette in a very long time this is she makeup this is not my first palette by then um the other palette i have is kind of like the morphe but it's not as pigmented so this is called chasing fantasy Let me take it out the box you can see the oranges but we gotta see it in person, girl. We gotta see it in person. So, when you open it, oh, it's still got the cover. I ain't never take the cover out. Look at these colors. Look at them. They're so bright. Like, <laughs> definitely will be wearing this palette for the summer because I'm going all out color. Nothing too extravagant because I only wear nudes as lipsticks anyway. But I want my eyes to do it while the talk in while the sun is glistening because I have a product coming out that I haven't released in like three years and I'm so excited to release them again. So yes, girl, you're gonna see all the colors. Yes. So that's my little TJ Maxx haul, which I'm really happy about. So today I'm gonna be using the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer Foundation and my Morphe palette for the day. So let's get into it. Let's get into the hair. I like to do my hair first. If you don't, I don't know what you're doing, sis, but I prefer to do my hair first. So let's get to it. <laughs> so I told you guys I'm doing a fun color. So I'm pulling out the burgundy wig, sis. Okay. Her name is Barry, a 5x5 closure 24 inches okay Barry be hitting Barry be hitting and if you ain't letting Barry hit what you doing let me stop let me stop let me stop okay I got my cute little oldie robe <laughs> don't judge sis don't judge it's the getting ready outfits okay let me show you how simple it is to put these wigs on. If you're not following my wig uh, page on Instagram and on TikTok and all of that, make sure you do. <clears throat> so it's so easy. Flip it down. We have a closure flat. Fitted industrial elastic band. The best only. Comb and boom. Look at that. <laughs> Listen! Stop playing with my wigs. So, because it's hot, and, and I'm not going to be embarrassed in these streets, okay? I would normally go for my boho lace jelly, but it ain't strong enough, okay? Because I wore it yesterday. It ain't strong enough. So, we're going to go into my oldie but a goodie. I have got to be blue. And we're going to just lay this flat before I spread it. Because I have a big forehead, and so my weight be moving back when it's too hot. And this with like two, three layers, <laughs> it's not gonna move. It's gonna, it's not, it's not gonna move. Move where? So, here's the first. I do not apply this on my hair. 
only my skin. First of all, y'all, I keep looking at my monitor. The skin is hitting. People have been really complimenting me on my skin. And we're almost there with this section of my pores. But overall, I have this really nice glow. And I want to think to my son's clean that I've been using. Especially that, okay, the girls who wear with wigs and minimize their foreheads. Um, especially when it's sunny outside. Know that there's a lot of decoloration that happens over time because that part of your skin is not exposed to the sun. And technically speaking, you're kind of like getting suntanned. So I noticed that, so in, in my last uh, skincare, I asked for a uh, sunscreen recommendation. So the sunscreen I've been really loving See, I'm gonna share all the tea in this gear with me. It's the Black Girl Sunscreen, okay, SPF 30. And listen, it's been doing wonders for your girl, no white cast. Look at this. I got me a little light glow or whatever. Like, they didn't have to do your girl like that, okay? They didn't have to do your girl like that. So, I posted a little reel a while back. Um, on my page my personal page um and they commented and they were like girl can we propose that this real I said, yes give me all types of exposure i was like so happy the reason why i was so happy was the fact that like it barely had any views but it captured their attention so that's all i need that's all this needs for okay i'm using my evan wonder lace spawn spray I'm just gonna spray right here. Give it like a third layer. Put that all around. And I only do this only if I know I'm gonna be at this place for a while. So this is not my everyday routine. Y'all. I do not put my wigs like this every day. I actually just pop it on and pop it off. So now that we got that there, we move the wig right here. See how we shorten the. Uh, wig okay kind of match my hairline see that you see what i'm be talking about like we need these sides to be laid y'all okay don't ever catch yourself slipping <clears throat> now i do this because i don't like spraying over it because i realize it'd be looking shiny or whatever so we're gonna just We got this and we're gonna spray just a little bit where my baby ears are separated just to really get that extra melt that extra blend because as you can see it'd be looking ashy right here but it's blending right here and that's what we want so when we, when we do tie it down after we do our lash our uh, edges I said lashes our edges it can look splendid now I found this new foaming wrap lotion. It's by Grow Secrets. I've been really loving this stuff. I don't know what it is. I don't know what they put in it. But it's something better than the Ruby. I didn't say it though. I, I didn't say that though. But I did. So we're just going to put this. And I've been only using this. That's that's what's making me happy about it and it doesn't lift my lace when I use it new to my channel you already know I am loyal to this this is the truth okay and it's only six dollars so 
and this is the Knick Knack 24K Gold Face Primer. Hydrate Illuminate, all that, with little gold face, it's all cute, whatever. Then we're gonna be taking our Laura Mercier Tint Foundation, 20 SPF. So technically I got like 50 with one on one, maybe that's why my face ain't sliding that more. I'm just gonna get our foundation brush, just put a little bit in it. So I don't use a lot of this. I literally pat it in. Now I know right now it looks crazy, but it blends in. <laughs> Cause it's very, very light. Like it's ridiculously. You see what I mean? Like it's not like a full coverage foundation. is the brows. I'm going to be taking my e.l.f. Shake and Stay Brow Pencil. It's like a wax. I'm going to apply it all over my brow. And I make sure I put a good amount because I don't need it to move. <laughs> okay, I don't need my brows to move for nothing. Now I'm gonna take my holy grail. The only one I use for my brows is my LA Girl Pro Bra. I said Pro Pro. Brow Pomade in the color Soft Black. This is the only thing I use on my brows like to fill in. Because people ask me all the time, I'm like, girl, I'm speaking truth about this. Like, this is my holy grail. It's not too dark nor is it hard it doesn't dry up fast I just love this stuff So, definition in my face and just being tanky. So, I've been aiming, I've been more so leaning towards no foundation, just concealer or a very light foundation. And I don't know, I've been really loving it. <laughs> just still keeping it softer, still full coverage. I guess it's working out. I, I guess so. So right now we're just gonna really make sure put this concealer out. I've been really loving thick brows. I feel like it really gives my eyes like some shape because listen y'all, I have a very round face. So it makes me look kind of kiddish. Like I can't even explain. And I'm a woman. A woman. I'm a whole woman out here in the streets. I am 25. Like, I can't be looking like no child. <laughs> so we need all the grown vibes we can get while we're here. I'm gonna be taking my favorite concealers. I stand by them. I love them. It's the NK Perfection Multi Use Concealer Super Coverage. And this is why I slowly just stopped using foundation because this is really full coverage. Like, that's why we're running the Laura Mercier because we can't have too much going on in the skin. And look how this is found, like, it's sitting. Look how it's sitting. Anyway, I use the numbers 
six to nine, six to eight, I use it for like definition tone. So I don't only use the brightness, only the inner corner. And then, you know, the higher the number, the darker the shades. So I work my way like that. Because your girl is tired, so I'll be having bags on bags. <laughs> so I'm just be trying to get my life together, okay? For some reason, this is like my favorite beauty blender. Oh, no, like, what is this? Why is so soft? <laughs> Just for blush, and I love it. So, this, do this. I don't know, I've been into it for some reason. But I have a little morning brush. It's just this thing. I just literally blend that in. And it just gives me like a really nice, soft, rosy cheek going on because you know my smile have the biggest cheeks in the world why not embrace them this spring <laughs> next on the list i go in with the number nine i finish highlighting my nose i don't do too much because it's really like right and then Take in my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color mahogany and just contour my face like so. I do a little dots because no one's trying to do the most. Now I started like contouring my face. I started using like a bare brush to really like blend in my contour. I realize it makes it softer. Because I used to use this brush and it just looked like a harsh line and I don't want that, you know. I still want to look like me, but with just slight definition. Now I do blend this contour to my lace. I don't know, for some reason it makes it look better. So you guys can tell, I don't know. But I'm like, hang on. That's what I'm going to do. And then I use this brush backwards. I don't know why, but I feel like my contour just looks better. And this is the e.l.f. Sculpting Face Brush. I love this brush. It makes it softer when you do like little dots. You don't over contour. It just looks crazy when you do. And I, I used to have them really strong lines and I'm like baby girl your nose is not that straight like calm down give it some definition but not too much okay so next on the list because your kiss your kiss is on my list because your kiss your kiss is on my list I'm gonna be taking bake you happy I actually got a little more <clears throat> bake you happy and the color, uh, what is it, cafe? It is cafe or uh, toffee. One or the other, so faded. And I just pour it in my little palette of my Ruby Kisses 3D Face Creator, the darker shade. Because that's what I'm going to contour with afterwards. So, take a little bit of that. I make sure most is under my eye more than anything and then lighten it further down because we don't bake no more. I'm not trying to have the brightest 
wonder, I, I just don't want my bags to crease. I want it to see that. More under the eye. And then less further out. <laughs> okay. And I'm gonna just put a little extra right here. Cause this is where I'm oily the most. I'm crazy still is sure will, but that's not the point. So we're gonna go in with this contour shade on the 3D face powder on the Ruby Kisses palette. Just put it on. I'm gonna go with the darkest shade. So now, <clears throat> the fun part, okay, we're going to go all up in the eyes. So we're going to be taking the Morphe palette, 35R. Now, usually my eyeshadow these days are so quick. I don't really do much, but I've been seeing these neutral cut crease glam eyes, and I'm just like, I want that. So that's what we're going to do. The look I am attempting. I pulled out all the brushes I need. <laughs> Cause I'm super gross, girl. I am super gross. So I will be going in with this shade right here. Just really packing it in on the brush. And just going right here. Cause we gotta create the definition I do not have in my eyes, okay? I'm just gonna go right here we're not gonna go all the way in no. now i like my little brow highlight whatever for my concealer so i try not to go that high because i feel like it makes me look like i have bigger eyes than i actually do <laughs> and just really pack that in now we got that done I'm gonna go in with this darker shade right here and this brown right here. I'm just gonna mix the two and just really make this slightly darker because I want shade. I want all of it. I want all the smoke. Okay. Give me the smoke. Give me the smoke. <laughs> you know, give me the dread. I like that dread. If you hate you, you do exactly what he was saying. Give me that game. So I'm gonna say, give me the smoke. You feel me? Give me the smoke. Uh, see, I'm seeing the beauty already. Look, this palette is the truth. I don't know why I was sleeping on it. This is the best twenty dollars I spent. Okay. So right in Safari, so girl, they had a lot. I was even thinking about getting one for my friends. That's how good it is. So we're gonna go in with the darkest brown shade right here. smaller blending brush just to really cram that in look at that oh <laughs> now that's that's the look right here we we get it clipped up girl. you know how you just feeling the look i'm feeling this look so we're gonna just go in with what i blend in just lightly blend because we have some creasing from that product. Now I'm going to go with my NYX Concealer Corrector Palette in the shade Profonde. Gain this color right here. Mix it right all, And we're just going to give a half moon crease right here to really press that nude because I'm kind of feeling nudish today. I don't want to do too much. Because it's hot, <clears throat> Bird Girl 
is taking her time, okay? Her time, because I don't need this concealer creasing and embarrassing me in the streets, okay? Okay, so it's not a half moon, it's like a slant because I ain't got enough eyelid. But don't judge your sis, girl. I'm making it work, I'm making it work, okay? Now we got that done. I'm out here talking about my No, I don't. <laughs> so now we're gonna take the only white shade that got here, right here, okay? And we're gonna put it on the lid. Now, when you apply these shades, make sure you're patting it in. Because if you do not pat this in, it will crease on your curl. Like, it's gonna crease. And we don't do that, and it won't be pigmented. Have you ever, like, wear really light shadows? especially as a million girl and on your lid it just looks streaky it's the it's the application so make sure you're patting that shade in to get it as pigmented as possible that's the tip no matter what light shade you're using and really just make sure you're using like a fluffy eyeshadow brush because it picks up a lot of product so you're able to like pack that in where you want to pack it in looking on my eye, pack it in girl, and it will not crease. It's kind of like you're setting your eye with the shadow. Now we got that good, we're gonna go in with the dark shade, but we're just gonna use the brush to blend it in. Like we're not gonna pick up any more shadow. We're just gonna blend that out, because it's already a dark shade. See that? And just soften that line. Now I'm gonna go in with my, my angled brush like so, like that. I'm gonna pick my darkest shade, my darkest brown, my darkest shade, and I'm gonna stamp it like a one liner, okay? And we're gonna just do this, I have to, cause I don't want it taking too much of it. So, I'm gonna literally stamp like so. See that? Because I don't want like a really dark wing liner. And look, blends, boom, period. You got your wing. That's what I'm talking about. So, to get a smaller one, because sis don't got eyelids like that. your time you don't need to rush it this is like a real extra glam neutral beat you don't you don't gotta go to the ends of the earth for this okay now I'm gonna take this I don't know I'm feeling like a champagne shade like mixing these two for my inner corner just to give it a little shimmer when I put my lashes in and I'm just gonna blend like so blend that into my matte shadow and yeah look at this eyeshadow y'all it's looking gorgeous it's giving it's giving life it's giving life it's giving what it needs to give so now i'm gonna go in with my darkest eyeliner and line my waterline because we're going sultry and dark okay Cause this is like a burgundy plum color but I want to make it sexy like I want the face to give me sexiness so now we're gonna go in with my favorite mascara Nick Knack Mega Volume Mascara this is the only mascara I use it from here on out this is like the best mascara I've ever used like I can't even explain it oh I just love it it gets all my little hairs I think I got it for like three dollars. Before I do that, let's go in with my little small brush. Okay, and smoke out the waterline, but we're gonna go with a really soft brown. Just smoke that out. The reason why I haven't like 
pissed off the setting color is so I can catch all the shadows. colors mascara and I only use it for my brows just to make it darker just to define the hairs keep it in place this was an old tip from my mom and I just kept it ever since okay now I make it two making it look like I just gave myself big brows but you can see the big brows so now we're gonna go in and just dust off the excess powder, the little I have left, if it didn't set yet. Now that's done. We're gonna go in with my finishing powder by Maybelline in the color Dark Profonde. And the way I love applying my powder, if I can go that, is just making sure I pat it in. So Especially here because you don't want to just swipe you want to really set that in or you're just gonna have that line where your makeup finally sits of just where you highlight you don't want to do that now we got that done I'll be going in my Juvia's Place palette and I'll be using like uh it's the Zool palette I have an eyeshadow crack in there for why I'm not showing it I'm gonna be taking this orange and pink shade just to give me that the little blush I lost and I like to bring it into my uh, outer eye to give my cheeks some shape okay we don't go crazy with that now I'm going with my fluffy brush going with my highlight color put that in bring that into my brow bone and then I literally blend it out let's see control this so I don't have too much going on nor a streak because we're not doing that we're not we're not gonna have streaks out here in the streets I have to double check double check okay is that you oh now I love me a little mo mo moment <clears throat> and like what I just stabbed myself with my eyeliner. This is some ghetto. Ooh, child, ghetto. Okay, let me stop walking. So I take my LA colors. I do like the faintest mode. Like, you don't notice it, but I notice it. It's a little moment, you know what I'm saying? What I am going to use that's becoming my very favorite lip gloss, which I'm very surprised about, is this LA Color Plump Gloss. When I tell you grow up, I be selling the burning sensation, I guess the plump, I don't need no plumping, but the color itself is marvelous, so it gives the girl the shine I want, and the way it blends in my lip liner. It just looks so beautiful. Just giving my lip a light tint. Now, I'm looking crazy. It's about magic. It's a hydrating mist, but I use it as a setting spray. I really love it. It be not set. Okay, it's time to change and just finish the video. Okay. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did. I hope you are looking forward to more of the Get Ready With Me videos because I have way more wigs to come with way more looks. Okay? So make sure you subscribe. Do not leave this video without subscribing, without clicking the notification bell because you do not want to miss these videos, sis. And go ahead and watch the previous ones. Catch up with me and my life and what I got going on. Okay? And I will be seeing you at my next video.